named after him for crying out loud. The quarterback has a very Austin Powers-like first name of danger. The secondary has its own legion. And even the fans in Seattle have a nickname to call themselves. But in the middle of it all, figuratively and quite literally, there's been a linebacker that is just now first getting the national spotlight he deserves. Bobby Wagner. Here is Steve Cyphers. Bobby Wagner is typically quiet, low-key, a real please and thank you kind of guy, except when he's not. Off the field, I'm uh, kind of to myself, chill. Uh, on the field, I can be loud, you know, I just let it loose. What's your responsibility to this team? I'm like the general, the person that makes sure everything's going according to plan. He's gonna get hit, he's gonna go down. The blitz coming from Bobby Wagner, right up the gut. The plans did not include a turf toe that kept him out of five games in the middle of the season. Oh boy, did I miss him. I'm so glad he's back. <laughs> Linebacker coach Ken Norton Jr. wasn't alone. Seattle lost twice as the defense gave up an average of more than 20 points a game. And then Wagner returned, even better than before. And despite missing those five games, Wagner was named All-Pro. Over that five-week span, he became the Bobby you see now, the All-Pro Bobby. By the time he came back, he was just very impactful. I stopped it, all right? Keep us going, all right? When he was making the calls in the huddle, you listened to him. His voice was a little bit deeper and a little bit more confident. You miss five games because of your foot injury, and then you come back. And y'all win six in a row and give up 39 points. Coincidence? When I was out for them five weeks, man, I was uh, uh, praying for me to get back as soon as I could. I knew once I got back, I wanted to make a big, big impact. I want everybody to leave and, and know that they played 54. 54 was 47 in the 2012 draft. The 47th player taken, the eighth linebacker overall. Not exactly a snub but not exactly what Wagner wanted. I definitely carried the chip coming out of the draft. I was definitely one of the top linebackers, but once I got drafted, I just wanted an opportunity to show everybody how good I could be. His coach recognized the promise immediately. I knew he had the speed, the size. I knew he had the really, really cared about ball, really athletic, really fast feet, really strong, long arms, and he knows what a ball is. Then you combine that with a ridiculous work ethic. I'm not saying I expected it, but I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. What might be surprising is the outside world now sees Wagner and the entire Seattle defense. 